Hey, y'all. So, we're going to see what does the collective need to be aware of. We're going to pull some cards from here, and then I'm going to see what else we get. All right, Holy Spirit, what does the collective need to receive right now? Okay, somebody's starting to see beyond the veil about a child, or maybe that's, that's you. We got a karmic masculine here. Okay, somebody could be seeing something about a karmic masculine and, and a child. Let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Who is seeing be, beyond the veil? Who could see something clearly now? We got a soulmate. We have here Jezebel ritual. Real love, reverse. Somebody was trying to force something to be real and it wasn't. We got voodoo. We got thoughts. And we got mature woman. So, wow. And we have the soulmate. So this this this, this could be a masculine energy that's seeing that uh, a situation was being manipulated by by rituals. Tell me more. Enamor and endings. So I feel like somebody was trying to make sure there wasn't like any endings here. They could have been doing these rituals, you know, love spells to, to be coming out in this enamor energy, you know, in this loving energy. All right. Uh, and there's a mature woman here. This mature woman could have been helping this Jezebel to do this. We got two females here. Flip the roles however you need to, but that's what I'm getting. You know, like this could be a, a masculine. So then who's this karmic masculine? Who's the karmic masculine, Holy Spirit? Because if it's a Jezebel, I mean, it could be a karmic masculine. Let's see. Who's this karmic? This karmic masculine. Opposition and destruction. This is somebody who was sending evil eye. And, oh. So this could be, hmm. Somebody's changing for the better, right? They're changing. This could be you changing for the better. Yeah, and this karmic feminine, you know, I feel like, they, I feel like this is a karmic feminine and a karmic masculine together against a divine masculine that is changing. Because it says here change and bliss. You know, like you're following your bliss. You're following what makes you happy. You're getting away from toxicity. So this karmic masculine is working with the ops. It's fair to say this is somebody who's the ops. They're, they're your opposition. They want to cause destruction in your life because they're sending you evil eye. Oh my goodness. And they're working with this karmic feminine. This karmic feminine could have put an entity attachment on this karmic masculine because he's coming out in karmic energy. That's saying that he's low vibrational. That's saying that he's able to be touched with the voodoo. Okay? So they're working together. Yeah. Entity attachment we have here mentally and emotionally unstable. This person, this masculine, this karmic masculine could be uh like this and this and this and this energy mentally unstable emotionally unstable again just in a karmic energy vibing low so they could have attached a demon okay to this person all right so let's see tell me about this mature you know we got here your ancestors too like your ancestors is not is not playing like they want you to know that this person is not like your friend that this person is the ops all right, so I feel like I'm talking to, again, split the roles. Or oh, this could be about your person, about your your divine masculine and a karmic situation and, uh, and a karmic masculine here that's working with her. All right, but let's see. Holy Spirit, what is this child? What is this child card? Let's see what else we got with this child. Okay, we have profession and we have con wow yo confinement and family wow 
Somebody was using this child to trap somebody. Yeah, look, we got strategy. Yo, you cannot make this up. Listen, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, profession, right away, what I thought was, uh, you know, somebody went to a, a practitioner. And look, we have eternal love. They did like, a, again, this love spell that we saw, this ritual, so that there won't be an ending here. So that they see her in this enamor energy, you know, this loving, you know, energy. Like, you know, it, it's giving me like love spells, domination spells, um... What do you call that? Beauty spells, glamour spells, you know, so that the, the masculine sees her in a different light, in a nice way, you know, like like he is, he's attracted to her. This guy, as soon as the spells start working, he's going to wake up. He's already waking up, as you can see here. That's the first card that we, that we talked about, the veil. He's seeing through the veil. He's awake now. So, clarify profession, Holy Spirit. They went to a professional to trap this man into this family. That was the strategy. So I feel like this professional, I'm telling you, this professional is uh is uh is part of this whole plan, part of this whole scheme. What is the professional, Holy Spirit? Clarify professional. That could be this mature woman. There's somebody helping them with this ritual. Yo, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling you. Listen, and we got here idea. This karmic was like, oh, that's a that's a bright idea, right? What we got here? Yeah, to reserve this person forever, to hold his ass stuck, bind him, you know, like to keep him stuck here. It says here binding, it says uh obstruction and contract. You know, like they wanted to keep this person in a karmic contract. They wanted to keep them stuck. All right, so with reservation, that's what it's, that's what I'm getting with that. It says desire, it says worth, and it says extravagance. This person could have been living good, connected to this uh, masculine energy. They could have been uh, a vehicle, you know, they, they, this person could have even got them a car. Or, you know, they were just living extravagantly, living comfortably, living good. So they was making sure that they was uh, going to continue to live like this by binding this person to them. This shit is, is really sickening that these people be doing this shit. It's really weird, really weird. All right, so yeah, look, and she paid somebody. All right, she paid this person, this professional, to bind this guy to basically uh, put these illusions over him, so that he doesn't realize that this child is not his, so that he doesn't question this, so that he never has, you know, this idea like, hey, let's go get a DNA test. You know, that's what I'm getting. So I feel like there's, there's a child here that is not theirs. Uh, they're starting to see that there's there's a lot of lies here, a lot of manipulation. Uh, and they're starting to see that this karmic masculine was working with this karmic feminine. Holy Spirit, clarify this uh, mature woman, please. Let's see, what is this? Mature woman. We have here... Wow, you see? Relaxation, marriage. I'm telling you, I feel like this is the, the lady that was helping her with the ritual. It could be it could be even her mother. Yeah, like I feel like she was doing spells on this person, probably in the dream state while, while they're sleeping around this masculine to make sure that her daughter gets binded to him. She, and she was making sure that this person, the masculine, stayed in this energy of being scared, being scared to leave, you know, uh, being in this state of anxiety, depression. When you do that, you are lowering your vibration. So this karmic mother, whatever she is here, she was helping her to keep this person in this lower vibration so that the voodoo that they're doing continues to work if you raise your vibration you you cannot be touched anymore which is what i was saying about this karmic masculine so there's another one here a masculine that's part of this i don't know maybe somebody that's related to her or something or part of her her group here this coven whatever that's helping her uh and he's in a low vibration so this that could be a warlock or something a brujo all right a, a priest uh you know whatever uh so basically that's what i'm getting that 
it was to keep this masculine in this energy here, like scared, you know, paranoid. It says here depression, fright, you know, to keep this person stuck. So this was in turn going to keep her daughter and everybody else because they're all eating off of whatever energy they're getting off of him and whatever he was providing for her because there's something about him having this good luck energy here. So that means that he's a divine masculine. He's a divine being. He has this good luck energy, this abundant energy, and they wanted to stay stuck to him you know like they was all eating off of that energy that's why it's really crazy like even with me i didn't even know that it's like a whole coven bro like so many people be attaching to when we don't know about this because now that we know you know that's the whole journey that we are releasing what doesn't serve us we're cleansing we're doing what we got to do but when you don't know there's people that's doing that like I, so many people that was trying to eat off of my energy and this is what i'm getting here with this masculine like this is the same thing this is a divine being and it's a bunch of leeches that's around him that's all working with the karmic, with Karmisha, and they want this energy that he got, this luck energy, this abundance. So they're basically trying to trap this person into this marriage, uh, you know, doing these love spells, uh, these illusions or whatever. And that's why we, again, going back to this. He's seeing everything that this whole, maybe this is like her family, her mother and, and her brother, her uncle or some shit was working, her father, whatever, was working with her. To put this baby on him and do all these illusions and shit like that. Crazy. All right. So. Let's put some cards from here. <laughs> all right. Anything else? Holy Spirit. What is going on? Uh, that's what's going on. They're getting bad karma. That's what's going on. Sheesh. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Whoa. Yeah, these karmics are all getting bad bad karma for lying, you know, uh, and, and, and doing all this manipulation on this masculine to keep him stuck. Yo, again, look at this. It keeps coming out to keep this guy stuck and get married with this karmic. I can see why he's into you. This is Karmisha. If you like this deck, click the link in my bio. This is Karmic Confessions Part 2. I have a Part 1 and this is Part 2. All right, so she can see why he's into you. She sees that he, you know, that he likes you or whatever, okay? And that makes her feel like shit. You know what I'm saying? So she has done the absolute most to get this guy trapped. Uh, we have here legal issues. This could be, again, trying to avoid this guy from getting a DNA test. And I feel like maybe he took us to court. And he's like, bitch, I'm going to get it anyway. You don't want to do it, you know, uh, on, on good terms. Let's do it anyways. I'm going to do it anyways. So we have here Ten of Swords reverse. It says here painful ending. All right. So in reverse, she's trying to avoid this painful ending from occurring. She don't want to go to court. She don't want this DNA test to tell him the truth. That's why she went to this professional, which is this priest, this warlock, all right, or this or this witch over here, this group right here. She went to them because, yeah, look, ascending. She didn't want this guy to see clearly anymore. She didn't want this guy to wake up from the illusion. So she kept doing voodoo on him, going to these practitioners to keep this guy, again, not able to see beyond the veil see what i'm saying like that's what's going on here so she did the absolute most uh she tried to hold this guy back from preparing for a union all right so that's where uh divine feminine or divine masculine like i said switch the roles that's where they come in this person is meant to be with his or her divine counterpart their true soulmate all right this karmic could have been a soulmate, but we have many soulmates. We have uh, enemies that are soulmates, all right? We have lovers that are soulmates that we learn from, karmic relationships, which is what this is, all right? And then we have our true divine counterpart. Uh, you could call it your kingdom spouse, uh, just whatever you want to call it, but that's the person that God wants you to be with, that you went through all this work for, and you overcame it, and you let go of what doesn't serve you any longer, and this person is going to be you're like a prize you know like you're gonna be each other's prize because y'all both went through the same situation y'all both went through the same obstacle and y'all both did not give up y'all both had willpower y'all both had the desire to 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 get out of the situation and manifest true love you know like y'all had faith and because y'all had faith y'all are gonna both be together all right like y'all both manifested each other is what i'm getting here 
this karmic is going crazy all right she did not want this person to change she did not want this person to go towards his happiness uh she did not want this person to see beyond the veil this is really weird to me like for people to do this type of shit it's like you got to be really mentally unstable all right because it's like you know that somebody does not want to be with you but you're still doing the absolute most to keep them stuck to you that's weird that's very weird like i i would not you know I, I could put myself in people's situations all the time and you know but i cannot i cannot i cannot see myself in that like i just don't i don't get it like you really gotta be a little bit off or a lot off all right let's see what we got here wow so we have here quarter case all right so somebody caught a case mm -mm -mm. we have here this phony trickster and illusions all right this person who was putting up a, a phony tale you know a, a fairy tale phony tale there you go i guess phony tale fairy tale yeah <laughs> no i don't know where that came from but yeah that makes sense a phony tale it was all it was all fake okay look i was gonna say right now i just heard in my head it was all a dream you know she was lying she was making up a dream she was selling a dream she was making up all these stories illusions she was a trickster spirit okay and spirit is saying that she got a sexual infection sexual disease okay she got something going on here she caught a case so this is telling me that she could be cheating on this person so it's like bitch like really yeah look you're a download lover you cannot make this up all right it doesn't have to be you know it doesn't have to be same sex okay because i'm not getting that i'm getting a carmisha and like i said switch the roles the carmisha was fucking around with a carmelo that could be this karmic masculine who's the real father like i said there's more than one person involved here and they're all trying to scam this dude oh my goodness tell me more holy spirit we have here getting evidence, proof, and facts. Somebody's, uh, you know, again, seeing beyond the veil. They're seeing clearly. Somebody has evidence. Somebody took screenshots of a conversation. Maybe he went through her phone. Um, and they they saw here that uh, there was a lot of shit going on. Again, a lot of shit beyond the veil. And it triggered this person to want to go to court. We saw the court card, you know, and wanting to get a DNA test because Carmisha was probably like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Uh, we have round and round cycles, triggers, and lessons. And it made this person realize that this is a karmic, that this is a lesson. So they were like, you know what? I'm going to go get that DNA test no matter what the fuck you say, bitch, and I'm out of here. Karmisha knows that this is the only thing that was like holding this person, this child. Yeah, and, and that was the only thing that was going to give her this stability and this security, this child. It says here, stability, security, performance, growth, and endurance. That's the only thing that was giving her some type of security and stability. Her uh, holding this child over this person. All right. We have here. Wow. Look. Crying over you. Somebody is definitely upset, right? Because finding out things coming to light. This person found out the truth about all of this again going back to seeing beyond the veil all right so this is your divine masculine or like i said switch the roles they found out the truth is what spirit is trying to say with all of this they found out everything that was going on yo you cannot make this up look at that we got secrets you see what i'm saying they found out about all these secrets and now they're crying over you they're they're feeling like they fucked up because two of two of pentacles reversed they fumbled you all right, they was juggling you and they fumbled it. They fumbled you. And they ended up uh, dealing with this karmic. And this karmic ended up taking them from for a fucking ride. <laughs> with that uh cycle over and over. Like, yeah, they took them on a ride over and over. Yeah, I just saw imprisonment too. Like, you know, they was making sure that they trapped this person. We live together, but he isolates himself. He's always on his phone, probably talking to you. That's Karmisha. All right, again, okay, confessions. She knows that he's into you. She knows that he wants to talk to you. He, she knows that, look, that he's crying over you. For some of y'all, you're not even talking to this person. You left all of this alone and you just let it be and, you know, you let go and let God. This person is crying over you and she's thinking that he's isolated talking to you, but he's not because you're not talking to nobody. You just doing you. So this person is in the room or in the living room, in the bathroom crying over you. That's what's really going on here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Free divine masculine, y'all. Free him. So that's what's going on. She got this man trapped. 
Yeah, look, the thief. That's what I'm saying. In a spiritual sense, that's what she did. She's tried to steal a contract. This contract that you guys have together. But God has the last say here. This was all a lesson that this masculine needed to go through. And he's going to get out of this. And she's going to get her karma. This was all by design, okay? Divine masculine and divine feminine is going to be together at the end. It says here, robbed, lost, theft, physical or emotional. That's, that was her plan here. All right, this karmic to you know, and I used to I used to say stuff like uh, you know, like you cannot steal a man, you know, like I used to say stuff like that. But now that I'm seeing things on the spiritual side, and I'm not talking about a karmic masculine, I'm talking about a divine masculine. I see now on the spiritual side that um these karmics be stealing the contracts. Like that's what they do when they do these love spells. You know, like God has a plan for you two, but this little dumb car may wanna keep holding on to this person. They don't wanna let go. They wanna force a situation and that's stealing the contract. But it never works out for long. You know, if you're meant to be with this person, it's gonna work. So I see that it is possible. Right, and here we go with this thief card. It's confirmation. You could steal the contract. But ultimately, if you're meant to be together, you will be together. Okay? And I put a stamp on that. Like I, I believe that wholeheartedly. All right. Yeah, we have here six of uh, pentacles, okay? You will receive, yeah, right here. You will receive receive what you deserve, all right? Equal, give and take. You're going to re reciprocate. This person's going to reciprocate the same love that you give them. That's what you're going to get. Spirit is saying you will receive what you are meant to receive, all right? So it's, it's confirmation, all right? We have here the karmic that is going to be suffering <laughs> in silence, watching you and watching a person, uh, you know, or if it's not cyber bully is watching through readings, you know, getting readings done, being nosy, you know, doing too damn much suffering. That's what's going to happen. For some of y'all, this karmic is watching you right now. All right. She watches you, uh, and they be sending evil eye and they want, you know, again, they want to do everything that they can to keep you guys apart from each other. All right. So that's what I got here. Y'all that was the scoopity scoop. Like I said, click the link in my bio. Check out my other decks. Okay. Thank you for the love and support. All right, y'all.